All right, let's get to the stories that have our ACC tweets uh, tweeting. It's time for the buzz. So what do players and coaches use those whiteboards for on the sidelines of Florida State if you're crushing Syracuse? Hangman, the question is, CB, what are they trying to spell? It's obvious what they're trying to spell. If you look at how many lines, that says, we want Bama. It's hands down. We want Bama. Are you sure it's not, we want Duke? I think yeah. that's what it says. They look past Duke, <laughs> I promise you. We want Bama. Speaking of whiteboards, President Obama went to College Park to see his brother-in-law's team, Oregon State, visit Maryland. And the women's basketball team left a note for the president. And there he signed it at the bottom, which is awesome. The problem now for Brenda Fries, you can't erase that. Yeah, what do you do with this board? I, I say as a coach, you take it, say it was my idea. You take this board, you frame it, and you keep it uh, where it's always a memory. You, I could just see her diagramming a play. It'll be like, okay, you set a pick over here, and you curl around erase, the president's signature. Erase that. And you erase get an open that. Look. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Carolina lost to Belmont Sunday, Sunday. A tough loss. The Tar Heels, they were brutal from the free throw line. There might be a good explanation, though. Watch and listen closely. For USA basketball on some of those under-17, under-16, under-17 teams. That was awesome. <laughs> a fan screaming at the top of his lungs singing Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball. I guarantee you, for Belmont next few games, this fan will be in attendance and he will play a major role in their next big win. I know for Tar Heel fans, they're trying to forget Sunday's game, but that is just an awesome moment right there. <laughs> that was great. Uh, and that is the buzz.